Almost every citizen in the United States could potentially experience a landslide. Landslides come in quite a few different flavors, and we, even with our small group of 20 here at the USGS, we have some of the world experts in each of the different kinds of landslides. They're very slow-moving, deep-seated landslides, which don't threaten lives too often, but they can do a huge amount of damage to property. If you imagine your house slowly moving down a hill, we have very fast-moving landslides which are a danger to human beings. These are called debris flows. These move at 30 miles an hour, and if you imagine sort of a consistence, consistency of concrete with huge boulders in it rushing at you at 30 miles an hour, you're not going to get out of the way. So these kill a few people around the world every year. And finally, there are rock falls, which probably are the kind of landslide that most people are familiar with when huge boulders fall off of a uh, cliff along the side of a highway and smash a car. Within the Landslide Hazards Program, we have three specific tasks. One is developing tools and methodologies that can be used to characterize landslide hazards. The second is to respond to landslide disasters um, to provide expertise and assessments. And then the third is outreach, to tr try to educate the public about landslides and landslide hazards as best we can. The landslide program is uh, looking at an application uh, called Did You See It? in which members of the public can come to our website and uh, give descriptions of, uh, of the landslide, the characteristics of it. They hopefully will even be able to uh, uh, post photographs of it. And we'll start to build a database that will be very useful to us scientifically. Hundreds of thousands of landslides occur in the United States every year of every imaginable scale. We would like to ultimately someday have an inventory of all those landslides. In the area of uh, landslides, we've been working with uh, partners in the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's National Weather Service uh, on a debris flow early warning system. I'm, I'm really proud of how this joint collaboration between NOAA and the URGS has resulted on a warning system that is helping the people in uh, the communities that are susceptible to the debris flow, at least in Southern California, to be safer and to be more resilient. Within this warning system, the wet Weather Service takes the role of issuing the forecasts and measuring what sort of rainfall is, is occurring, and then they have the system for disseminating watches and warnings. Um, the USGS brings to the table our knowledge about what sort of rainfall conditions will lead to the landslides and what areas would be the most susceptible. The debris flow warning system involves for the National Weather Service to use models developed by the Geological Survey and in combination with our own observations or using high resolution radar and uh, weather forecast to tell the community and the emergency managers what are the areas that are at an imminent risk of having a debris flow, which is mudslide or mud flows as they are commonly known. Yeah, a number of USGS scientists uh, produced a book in association with the American Planning Association uh, just a few years ago. This takes you step by step through some very simple procedures that you can do uh, to make your 
family safer and your community safer. This is a truly a national problem. It's, it's a problem that's affecting our economy. It's causing billions of dollars in damage every year. And like many other natural hazards, they actually do endanger people's lives occasionally, and we need to sit up and pay attention. The Landside Program has a website where we pr provide information about our research or our ongoing projects, and that is landslides.usgs.gov.